Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dave from NecroGuides.com, and today we're going to do a demo review for David Easy 451. And now, take this round a little bit slowly, and this is like a very common mistake that you made, and this is a common mistake that a lot of people make. So, obviously, you throw that flash very poorly, and, and that flash, it just, it, it wasn't necessary. It didn't do anything for you. So, both these guys now that are playing a site are going to be focused on you, right? And now you're trying to make a play here based off your teammates. You're kind of waiting for them to do something at halls, you're kind of peeking out. But all this noise that you're making is really unnecessary. They know you're here. This guy on balcony hears you. So as soon as they kill these guys in halls right here, naturally they're going to look right on you. And another mistake that you made is, as soon as they killed him, you started pushing up. But a lot of the time what's going to happen is you don't actually have to push up in that situation because they're going to initially kill him there in halls and then look back towards you. So you could kind of be the waiter at that point. Um, so if you're just a little bit more sneakier, a little bit, um, um, you know, just just not, a, not making as much noise and you kind of worked out at the right time, you probably could have done something a lot better. You might have even done something like this where you jiggled, you jiggled, you didn't see him, and then you went into here. And then bam, they kill that guy, and you could creep up like this and maybe kill that guy at like triple or something like that. And then you had another team in halls that ran away, but if you killed that guy at triple, then this guy would have looked like this, and you would have been over here, and then that other guy could have walked out halls and shot him in the back. So that's like an example of something that could have happened. Um, but generally speaking, like, don't let them know you're there if you're not really throwing any nades that are like super crucial to, to doing anything. It's honestly better to just be a little bit sneakier and start dry peeking things and just have good crosser placement. Okay, this is going to be a really quick tip, but if in this game, if you don't know how to throw a smoke, it's better to just not throw it at all. Um, that flash right there is much better used if you bounce it off off one of these middle boxes and land it quick here. That'll blind anybody coming up middle. The timing that you did kind of just sucked. They could have just came up and shot you. And this is what I'm mainly referring to. This smoke right here, just wanna talk about this really quick. If you don't know how to throw a smoke properly and make sure that there's no gaps, don't throw it at all. Straight up. You're much better off either learning the smoke and then doing it, or coming here into connector, peeking, then throwing a smoke down behind you here and then running up. Because that smoke's doing you no favors. It's hurting you more than it's helping you. Because they're just going to kind of look underneath it. And it's going to be very, very difficult for you to, uh, uh, you know, know when they're in the smoke or not. Because they could be here in the smoke and then quickly go to here. So you can go like this, see nobody's there. And then bam, they could be right fucking behind you because of how bad the smoke is. The only thing we're going to talk about this round is how that, that this was like a very basic and poor peak by you at a very common spot and angle. Um, so the way you want to peek this is you could even crouch underneath the vent and then uncrouch and run out and it'll kind of fuck your hit button box up a little bit or you need to just wide peek it um, or jump up and, and or jiggle 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 until he starts shooting and then quick peek him even but um, just walking into his crosser at a very common angle is generally not a good idea especially that common of an angle now this round what you did wrong was you didn't utilize your nades properly post getting out of the smoke. Um, you go and you guys do an A take here. And you throw a smoke. And pay attention to your nades here. You have two flashes on you. And one flash could have won you guys around. Now what you needed to do here was you needed to go here, look to your right, and either push one of these smokes basically. Um, you guys are in super shit positions here. Um, you don't have the bomb, so that means your bomb carrier is going to come, right? And once these smokes are dissipated from over here, on your right, you guys are like sitting ducks. The actual best play here is to underhand a flash, probably through the CT spawn smoke, push through it, and take control of some part of the map. Um, if you don't do that, when the smokes dissipate, you're going to be in like a super shit position and most likely die and your teammate's going to be in a 1v2 or a 1v3. Um, so that would be my recommendation for you this round. You could push to the right here, you could have, as soon as you killed this guy triple, ran to the ran over here, underhanded a flash and then went through, or you could have went spawn, underhanded a flash and went through. Instead what kind of happens is you don't take any position anywhere and you're kind of just stuck sight 
and then you know the guy spawned, kills your teammate, and then he kills you, etc., etc. Um, so you either need to take position and push up so that your teammate can plant. Because think about it, even if you would have hid somewhere, like you get this kill and you immediately run to like triple or or here or under balk, well, you guys have no smokes at that point, so your teammate can't even plant, right? So it's like you got to take position. Generally, in CT is usually better, um, just because it's. If you just take control of CT and he plants for here, you're in a very, very good spot to win the round. Okay, so right here you get a nice kill in halls, and then you do a little fake, they throw a bunch of nades, which is good. And now, I just want to talk about this mistake you made again. So, think about it from these players' point of view at A, right? I think this guy is just a complete noob, whatever, we're not going to worry about him. But look at this guy. As soon as you throw that flash, he's just like hard focused on you, you know? It's so much better if you just, because you threw a flash, you just threw a super basic flash off this wall, and it landed here, and you didn't even really peek with it. So, all that happened was you threw a flash that told you, that told Menti where you were, and then he just hard focused on it, right? So, let's just watch that again really, really quickly. Get this kill, you fake it, you run away, which is good. And then, right here, you decide to throw this flash. And again, man, the CTs are just going to be hard focused on you there. So, if you, ha if you were baiting for some teammates, like you wanted your teammates to come up connector first, it would have been good if you like threw the flash, shot your gun, and didn't come out, wait until your teammates make contact, and then go. But instead, you were trying to make contact. So, it's so much better to just come out. You know, and just hope that this guy, if he's like CT or whatever, it has to look halls and ramp and you might catch him off guard, you know? But instead, you just threw something that made him look at you and hard focus on you. Alright, so... This round, you do your job, you do a good job here, you make it 4v5. But then right here, maybe like a little bit of indecision and decisiveness. So you have a smoke grenade. The smoke grenade is like your get out of jail free card here, man. That's what you got to be using. Um, they know you're in here and they're looking to kill you to even it up. And they are going to be watching this and they're going to be watching this. So you should have smoked here and then you could have even just stayed there had you smoked there. But instead you get a little peaky and you die to that guy. And they're always going to post on you if they know you're there. So that smoke grenade was like your get out of jail free card. You just bounce it off here and then you can even stay in here or you you should always stay in here for a few seconds just in case they start spamming and then you can make your move out of there if you want all right david i didn't see too much on ct side to really comment it on besides the fact that um when they're coming out upper b one thing you definitely need to work on is your crosshair placement um and your positioning around here you like to play this pillar which is fine um but your crosshair placement man you gotta work on your crosshair placement a bit Give yourself more room and let them run into your crosshair instead of aiming so far to the right. Um, but that's about it that I want to talk about. Thank you for submitting your demo, David, and peace out.